Welcome everyone. This is the live stream of the match Lukas Meixner and Lukas Socek. We are about to begin as both players have just arrived. To remind, they will play until 19 points with at least plus 4 score difference just like the rules for the WBC final which is the online world blitz cup in Gomoku. So I think that we may start as the players are ready. Um, actually you can see that there have been a lot of uh, updates since the last live match here. Namely we have introduced uh, blinking which you can see if one of the players nickname starts blinking it means that they are not present at the table. This is to prevent uh, cheating in, in, uh, in the games. Also, settings, which is previously a button here, is now here. Uh, table operator is shown here. I'm the owner now. We can see the users here. We can actually invite, boot, whatever. Uh, the moves are displayed here. And here's the chat. Many things will be still fine-tuned. But, but we are on a good, very good way, I would say. So here Ushek is black, it's his uh, probably favorite edge opening and he has a win and he plays it so he wins the first game. Nice. Bonesush plays a corner. In Blitz games he often plays a uh, corner or edge openings instead of uh, schemes which he prefers to operate with in live tournaments but he has a very creative and offensive style uh, which I admire but uh, sometimes he rushes into attack a bit carelessly and Ushek may punish that tonight we are going to see how the games develop Oh, it's a win position for white. No, it, it was missed. White could have won if white played here. Bonesush has a different idea. He tries to create something on the lower part. There definitely are some threads there, but he has to be careful. It does uh, seem like a white, a decent white position and a win position to be honest, because there is no way to block this now. Oh, interesting. He chose another way than what I was thinking of, but this is also winning, perhaps a bit uh, longer line. Bonsu Schwinzu, she resigns, it's 1-1. Bonesush plays a swap too here. What will Ushik choose? He chooses white. He chooses white and plays k8 and tries to be positional. Bone slash is defending. Trying to stabilize the position, which I would say he managed to do. And I wish I has to think hard because he can't really rush into an attack. He has to think uh, carefully here. It's, it's definitely not an easy position. Ushik pushes through. Oh, a counter move by Bonesush. This, this is exactly his creative way of uh, playing. Oh, Ushik is not afraid. Because he has a counter here. But... 
this is also threatening so bonesash will probably try this line okay he does not want to Ushik is low on time with bonesash is above 50 seconds it's crazy he is down fast but made a terrible fatal mistake there not playing the four first which would overline and thus Ushik wins the game Okay, Ushik chose black. Oh, Bonesash immediately when he ha when he sees a chance, he goes to attack. That's the spirit. Let's see what Ushik can do here. He will most definitely block from below on K6. It would be a mistake not to. What is he thinking about? Come on, Ushek. Yes, finally he played it. Now he has to go above, and yes, Boneslash goes back to block a bit. And now apparently, so Ushek had... No, he did not have a win. But there, there is a interesting line here. Which, which Ushek should see, but he doesn't. So, there is, is a black win here. Which is not getting played. And Bonesless is <laughs> extremely fast. It's almost unbelievable how fast he is. Okay, Ushik has to block from below, he sees that. And now what? Bone continues. Ushik is thinking hard. He missed another win. Because uh, if he played here, it would be a win line again. But but uh, he just does not see it. Bone slash overlines himself. That's a big mistake. Still keeps on pushing. Ushak with 7 seconds, Bone with 38, impressive. Ushak tries to, to think and find something, but his opponent is extremely fast. And although Ushak had uh, multiple chances by now to win the match, he could not see any of his wins. Okay, there is a win again for white this time. Bone such takes his time on blocking a four, or am I lagging? Oh, we have Archie here. That's impressive. Okay, I guess it's counted then.
Wow, three one for Ushik. Perhaps he lagged out. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, nevertheless, he he keeps on attacking, unstoppably. But Wishik blocks his uh, attacks without a problem. And now Bone is in much trouble because White can absolutely not do anything in this position. She can now try multiple ways. Uh, perhaps with this move or some other. All he has to do is find a winning line. And there are multiple ones. I'm not sure he chose the best way to attack here. But it does look winning. There is a stone here, 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 and here. And it's a win. But he screwed the order, and now there is no win. Wow. Bone slash survives. Now black has a really hard job to win this game. There is... Something? No, there, there's no VC ups, I don't see one. Soon Bone realizes it as well. And now there's a VC up for black, which Ushik misses, but plays another one, fine. So he wins. Four one. Ushik takes the initiative and the lead early on in the games. So far, Bonsash cannot uh, withstand Ushik's attacks. He may need to think of a different uh, strategy because it's not working so far. Now, we should we'll just play here and black uh, bones is again in a very bad position. So basically, this is again uh, Ushik's win position. He has multiple ways to win. All he has to do is see the wins. He found one and wins another game. Where are the Czech fans? Where are the fans of Bonsash? He needs some support. Oh, he switched to schemes as I see. Or was this opening played by Ushe? Probably because he, he is thinking. Before the match, Ushik told me that he will only play schemes 
uh, if he gets angry. I'm not sure if uh, leading 5-1 angered him, but it looks like it did. And Bonesish made another terrible mistake. This is going to lose. I mean, come on. Ushek is unstoppable. The fresh Polish champion. Just uh, last weekend, we had the Polish uh, championship where both of these players played and uh, Ushek became the Polish champion and what is Bonsaj doing? <laughs> I don't know I, I mean it just doesn't make any sense like that move is like instantly losing and I know he loves attacking but this is a bit uh, unnecessary Wow, this is total demolition so far. To be honest, I expected a much tighter match, but it's far from over. However, a six point lead is quite uh, decent. Let's see if Bonesish can find his way back into this match because so far he's not really feeling it. But maybe he just needs a little warm up. That's all. Who knows? Bonsa, she's a strong player. Uh, I think he missed the win there. He should have used this tree and then attack here. To use this line and this line, connect them. But he failed to do so. Maybe he should play a little bit slower, but more accurately. Probably that's the key here. For him to win. Wishik is trying to find his way out of this position. It's not really a comfortable one, but there is no immediate win for Bone. Oh come on, that's that's not even an attack. Why do you have to play so fast? Think. <laughs> you have all the time in the world. Now he's thinking on an open tree. I'm not sure why Bone or where he sees zero zero. What on earth is Ushik doing? And that was an open tree. Wow. Come on, guys. It 
There's no way it's happening like that. Those are crazy misses. Oh, it's a draw. I think the score was 7 1. So it's seven and a half, one and a half now. Oh, they can take a uh, break after this game if they want to. So far. Bone is missing his chances and makes crazy blunders. And Ushik is at the merciful rather. We all know Bone really likes uh, to have his fun but it does seem a bit <laughs> exaggerated what he's doing now after all he is playing against the current polish champion he must uh, show a bit more respect Even if Ushik is extremely slow. Oh, there's a good cut there. No counter chance. Ushik very low on time, but there's nothing for white. Absolutely nothing. Which means after the first 10 games, Ushik is going to lead 8.5, 1.5. They take no breaks. So for those who may not know Archie, he is a legend of Gomoku himself, he is a Polish player, apparently he's retired for quite some time now, but he has uh, been a top player of his time. It is an honor that he is here with us tonight. White should play this four to overline black, cause why not? And Ushek does see that. It does look like uh, winning the Polish championship uh, really improved uh, his self-confidence because he is playing much better than for example a month ago that's that's a splendid attack not that move though oh and that's a horrible move <laughs> really okay all bonesush needs to do is play here on j9 and he being an extraordinary attacker he does see that, plays it, and now Ushek has nothing but to play his fours without any connections leading to a VCF. 
and soon he has to acknowledge that he lost the game. Boleslich takes his second half, uh, second full point, so that the score can become eight and a half, two and a half for Ushik. I hope there will be a comeback here, because I want to see this match, like, for real, both players doing their best. Oh, that's interesting, I don't really like that idea. He could have easily played the 3, go here, force M2 block and then attack. But now he gave up the the attack there. Oh, what a mistake! That must have hurt to shit. That must have hurt. So what happened was Ushek was clicking. Because he thought Bone will definitely play that 4, but Bone played another 4, thus Ushik lost the game. This is why you are not supposed to be clicking when you have so many seconds, plus you are playing with Fisher, which means that you get some extra seconds after you make a move. That's a very ambitious move by Boneslish. Let's see what he can do with it, because he can be over line now, for starters. And secondly, Black can just attack. And Ushik did not even play this 4, so it's a simple win for... Well, no, I'm sorry, Ushik was Black. I got a little mistake in there. But yeah, mistake by White. There was Boneslash apparently. Now this position looks like a good starting position for Boneslash, who loves attacking. And probably he is going to have his first real strong attack. And if I had a buck, <laughs> if I predicted this move, I swear to god, I knew Ushak is going to try it, but I don't think it is the best he could do. Because it's easily defended. And this move allows White to go on K6, which gives further uh, options for White. As a matter of fact, I don't even think this position is saveable now. I mean, the best he can try is probably I6. Well, not that. That is just losing real quick. Like, just play here. Yes, it's a more than easy. Come on, was that even necessary, boy? That, that was totally unnecessary. Bone screwed up the win. And Ushi Queens, wow. Would have never guessed it can succeed. Bone usually converts such positions within a second. Not this time. Ten and a half, three and a half. Bone Slash is still not finding uh, his, his way of, of playing. It's upsetting. I mean, the, the mistakes he is making is upsetting because he's a much better player than that. Now, probably J7. Okay, Ushek decided he first wants to play L6. Can understand, but can Bonsa block now? Okay, probably the sequence is going to be I6, K8, K7, J6, a block from below. No, Ushik, Ushik has a different idea. Hmm. 
There's a VCF for black. No, no, it's blocked here, right? Um, this means that bone slash can or cannot. This is tricky here. No, he he could not block. So we should play it well. Wow, there's a win here. Don't tell me he, he doesn't see the win there. I thought it was like really well played and it turns out he did not even see the win. Like come on and there is no block. The, what? That is shocking. Okay for all I care the 4 is not gonna be blocked. Yes. I, I so knew it. That was so a matter. Shocking, really. But, well, it happens to the best of us anyway. Eleven and a half. Uh, and three and a half. Still, like, wow. Why not play the three first? Like, come on, why not? Why would you not overline him? It's like you're giving him options. Jakub just joined us. He was also present at the Polish Championship last weekend in Krakow. And he actually took the fourth place right behind Ushik. Oh, and it was blocked from below. I mean, this would at least give him a chance. Why, Bone? Why? I think uh, I will call this stream uh, simply Why, Bone? Why? Because probably that is the sentence that I have been saying from the beginning in most of the games, anyway. I'm surprised how he is making these kind of mistakes it's rather unusual from him I, I can't even like begin to understand what could possibly be the reason of these mistakes because they are not making any sense okay so it's it's hard to understand why one would make such mistakes okay now he has to build an attack this is unnecessary he could have just blocked it here and then play something in the middle he has different ideas fine now is he gonna try this or this? It's easily blocked. Now he has to go here. Okay, that works just fine. What is Ushik gonna do here? Okay, he is defending. Bonsash played all of his fours, but for what reason he should make a lot more indirect threats and a lot less direct moves. I'm I don't know. He seems to be trying to time play. However, he really should not. Because there is Fisher, and even if Ushek is constantly behind on the clock. 
He is simply winning because of all these errors in Bones games. Yet another win for Bones. -ish. I mean Ushek, sorry. If we keep going at this rate, the match will be over in what? 45 minutes? But well, a result is a result. That, that is, again, a weird move. I am having a very hard time decrypting the gameplay of Lukas Sochik. I mean, I had not even, I have not even had the opportunity to list some facts of the players because they are playing extremely, in an extremely quick tempo and the games just end rather quickly and in somewhat unexpected ways many times there is a cut now so this attack is not gonna work we should realize it but there is a chance for white now it's, it's a very good chance okay just one move here really no way he misses this. Ushik resigns. 13 and a half, 4 and a half for Lukasz Meixner, the Polish competitor. So maybe I will attempt to list some facts uh, for those who did not uh, have the opportunity or was too lazy to read the article of, of the match announcement. So, maybe some achievements of the players. Apparently, last weekend was the second time. And another super quick win. Like, you see what I'm talking about? I don't even have, like half a second to talk about something else because there are just really really quick and early mistakes in the games anyways it was the second time Ushek uh, became the Polish champion of uh, the first time was in uh, 2016 which is the same year I think when uh, Ushik became a team world champion with Poland and he is also organizing a lot of tournaments including uh, the World Blitz Cup, all editions including the Team World Blitz Cups he is uh, organizer of the Friday Night Tournament series, the Black and White Majin series He's organizer of the Monday Blitz Evenings uh, tournament series. He is the chairman of the Polish Gomoku Renju and Panta Association. So the tournaments organized by Poland also run through his hands. And in the World Blitz Cup, apparently, now that Bonsush is thinking, uh, is he there? Not sure. I am not sure.
So I'm not gonna count that last game when after like six, seven moves he just clocked out. Oof, what a position he got himself into again. Outrageous. What on earth, man? All Ushik has to do is play these three and then use this diagonal. But now, okay, it's a different win. He still can use the tree and win the game. Which is the thing he is doing. Now he's going to play the 4 times 4 fork here. And win the game. Ushek is just... Three and a half points away from winning the whole match. Impressive. Anyways, uh, in Blitz games, uh, the World Blitz Cup is played with one minute time control. Ushik's best uh, result was a fourth place in 2021, the same year when Bonsesh had his best result, a top 12. Previously, Ushak was only in the top 16 and Bone, I think, even in only top 32. And Ushak is winning again. It is becoming rather boring. I don't know what's up with Bonesish. Never really seen him lose like this. That's just losing. With this single move. Bravo Ushik. Well found. So one would think that this saves but really it is not. And this also does not because then here is the connection. And Ushik saw it perfectly. Ah, I believe they are playing so fast I forgot to remind them about the second break option. But I doubt they would have lived with it anyways because Bone keeps saying that let's just keep playing. I'm not sure why, why he exists on playing when he is having difficulties. Anyway, probably this match is not really showing but Bonesash is also not a beginner himself. He is the champion of uh, Czech Republic in 2021. He won the Czech Open. And in the same year, he won the Youth World Cup. So he is the Youth World Champion of 2021. As well as uh, he has uh, several medals from several competitions. Including the last Polish championship last weekend where he was second behind uh, me and the head of Ushik. Another interesting fact is that both of them is called Lukas or Wukas. Uh, the pronunciations differ but the names are the same. Now Ushik can probably just play here, here, whatever and win the game. There are no real threats here so he doesn't need to defend anything there. He should just play here, right now. That's even a VCF now. Ushik will surely play it. Okay, he's going for a longer one. Or not yet? An even longer one. After all, the result matters. He found one and won the game.
So if Bones loses this game, he's out. The match is over. And apparently he would need to win um, 12 games in a row to not lose the match. That's a tremendous amount of games to win in a row, especially when you are losing eight and a half, four and a half. Like after the first twenty-three games, you only managed to get four and a half points. Then it is what? What sort of mistake is that by Ushik? That is totally unacceptable. <laughs> It seems that we are not yet out of surprising results uh, or moves rather that was a very weird losing move because it was a two moves win so now this position is rather black again and Ushik is black. Bonesish keeps attacking. Probably Ushik is going to play here on L9. But he is taking his time. I think he's calculating if he can win here. No. I mean, there was a good chance that he can, but he discarded that option and chose to defend. Which, of course, he has every right to do so. And Bonesash makes another terrible mistake. The game is over, thus the match is over as well. This one single move is going to take care of all the problems here. And it's game over. Wow, that's a bit surprising.